We are going to make another variation of a dip. And this is a great way to have, uh, have the kids eat the veggies along with um, um, hummus. So we're making our roasted garlic and squash hummus. So just a slight variation to your classic um, hummus that's just um, without the squash and garlic, without the squash. Um, so I have my chickpeas. I have roasted squash. I, squ um, I squashed it. I uh, roasted it along with the garlic. So I have my garlic in here. So that will be going into the food processor. We have our chickpeas. We have a tahini. That's um, sesame seed paste. We have lemon juice, some water, olive oil, and um, salt and a bit of paprika. And we have some maple syrup. So we'll go ahead and start on this. We'll put our roasted garlic in here, roasted squash and garlic. And then we shall add our chickpeas. We'll just go ahead and add everything, our tahini. my maple syrup okay. lemon juice some water and salt and paprika So these are all the main ingredients of making um, uh, hummus beside the squash. Okay, so I will go ahead and blend this until smooth. I'm just going to get the sides. And this is, um, the hummus is good. It keeps well in the refrigerator for about three or four days, or you can freeze it. And you can, to make it even easier, you can uh, freeze it in small containers or in ice cube trays. Then that way it's ready to go when you need to pack a lunch. is just that this is just about done go. so our uh, hummus is now done uh, see that um, it goes well with any kind of vegetable you can have your celery or carrot sticks and just pack that in a lunchbox with the compartments and just have them individually um, individually packed and this is great wholesome uh, you have your protein from the chickpeas you have uh, squash has lots of uh, good um, nutrients has some converts to vitamin A, some beta carotene in the squash. Lots, lots, lots of goodness in here.